and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a foundation try on and wear test for you. If I am looking like white casty slash real greasy right now, it's because I have put on like a bunch of sunscreen on my face. I am headed to the Minnesota State Fair today and so I thought that was a great day to try a new foundation. So the foundation I am testing today is the new AOA A+. This is their Buildable Satin Foundation. It is 19 milliliters uh, and 0.64 ounces. So it is a little bit smaller than your traditional one fluid ounce foundations on the market, but these guys are $1.88, which is insane. Like, what? It even comes in like a little dropper bottle. So uh, they don't have a ton of colors. You know, but it's their first go at foundation, so I totally get it. I hope they're going to expand, but the shade range isn't that great. It feels like it's very gappy. Um, and yeah, so I ordered three different ones because at this price, you can afford to order extra and hope that one is your color. So I ordered 303, which is buff, 305, which is pure beige, and then uh, 307, which is natural beige. So I think actually this middle pure beige color might work pretty well for me, but we're gonna try it. So it says to shake well, so I'm gonna shake it. Let's see, so it's supposed to give you a, a long lasting natural finish. Uh, it's a lightweight liquid formula, buildable coverage. We will see how that goes. So it feels pretty liquidy as I shake it, and I'm again using 305 pure beige, and I'm going to, so it comes like this, got like a, a dropper bottle. It is quite liquidy, so I feel like I'm gonna have to like layer on a ton, but we're gonna see how it goes. So right away dotting that on my face, it feels quite yellow. I'm gonna go in with like a drop of this buff color that is looking almost like a little more pink. Oh my gosh, it is so liquidy, you guys. It just wants to like slide off my face. Okay, so I'm taking a beauty, a damp beauty sponge, which is what I normally use for foundation, and I am just going to blend that out. With something so thin, it's definitely not going to be super full coverage. I think you would have to use like a ton of it. So I used, you know, a little more than three drops of each, and it was like running down my face. And I would say it's definitely lightweight. It's... Does it say if it's medium coverage? Buildable satin foundation. It doesn't like fully say what coverage it's supposed to be. Um, it's definitely on the lighter side. Okay, so I'm gonna just go in with some more on this cheek that I was already working on. Uh, I don't really like how liquidy it is just because I feel like it's kind of messy. So again, kind of mixing 205 and 203. This is, I feel like, already more foundation than I usually use for my whole face when I wear something that is more full coverage, but this is supposed to be a more buildable formula, so we're going to see how well it builds. Okay, I actually don't hate it. Uh, it's got a really like natural finish, which I know that's what it advertises, so I think it does deliver on that. For me, because I am more on like the oily, like sweaty side, um, I don't love be like dewy finishes, but I think once I set it with the powder, uh, that problem will go away. So I'm gonna go ahead and kind of work on the rest of my face and we'll check in when I'm done. Okay, so I've just finished applying it all over my face. I feel like it's a little bit on the light side, but I mixed two colors together and this was the best I was gonna get, so. Um, I think that's fine. I think bronzer will fix it. I have not set my face yet, but I just wanted to show you guys. I have a tiny bit of dry skin, like right here, um, from like using too much retinol, to be honest. And it's like been peeling a little bit. And it, gosh, I'm dropping everything. Anyway, um, and I do feel like it's clinging a little bit. I don't know if you guys can tell. It's clinging just a little bit to my dry patches. Uh, it's not terrible, but... I don't know, like I wouldn't like maybe wear it on a date night. We'll see how it looks after I layer um, everything else on and just see if like that gets less noticeable or more noticeable. It does have like a really nice um, like dewy skin like finish. It does still look like my skin, which is nice. It's not like 
you know, super fake looking, super fake coverage. Uh, I would say it's definitely buildable because it was super thin, so you could get as little or, or as much as you want. So I'm just going to set my face normally how I set it, which is just with a brush. And I'm using the Too Faced Born This Way powder. So I do like the way that it's set. I feel like my dry patch is definitely still visible, but it didn't make it any worse. Uh, so I think I'm just going to roll along with it. Alright, so I'm going to quickly put a face on on top of this, and then I'll let you guys know kind of how it layered on top of this. So I'll be right back. Okay, so I'm back. As you can tell, I put on like a pretty natural face of makeup just because I don't want to spend all day at the fair with something like super dramatic and heavy. Anyway, so all of the items like my eyebrows, my blush, my bronzer, highlighter, everything went on to my face actually quite smoothly and it blended really nicely. Like I didn't feel like there was, you know, a weird like spot where it was catching and all the pigment was settling. I feel like everything blended out quite well. I'm quite happy with the finish. The one dry spot I feel like isn't quite as noticeable anymore now that I have the rest of my face on. And yeah, I am quite happy with this so far. The only watch out I would have so far is that the dry, you know, if you have really dry skin, maybe not for you. Uh, but it even layered really well onto my sunscreen. So I'm very happy with that. I'm going to go meet up with my husband at the fair, eat a bunch of food, check in throughout the day, do a final check-in um, at night. So I will see you soon. Okay, so it's been about an hour since I've had my makeup on. I'm parked, by the way. Uh, and I just wanted to show you guys what this looks like in natural light. So in my car, obviously, but I feel like the dry spot that was right here isn't super visible. I don't know. It's, it's honestly not too bad. I feel like all foundations will somewhat cling to dry spots, but this is what my face looks like in natural light. I feel like it's pretty smooth and I'm pretty happy with the finish. So, all right, see you guys soon. Okay, so it's been about five hours since I first applied it. I'm at the fair still, having a beverage. It is hot out. So this is kind of like me in sunlight. And up close, I think you can tell that there's a little bit of texture going on, uh, but for it being like over sunscreen, having been outside sweating through it, I'm pretty impressed. So I will check in in a couple more hours, um, but loving it so far. Oh, look at my highlight. Yes. Okay, so it's been almost nine hours since I had the foundation initially put on, and I just want to do a quick end of the day check in. So I was at the state fair for probably like five hours today. It was high 70s, pretty hot, direct sunlight the whole time. And honestly, like I look pretty good still. I cannot get over like how nice it still looks on my cheeks where I don't usually get greasy. Um, I'm definitely more of like a normal here and then like greasy T-zone. The only thing I've noticed if I lean in is kind of like in the corners of my nose. Um, a little bit has started to gather and show texture, but it is not like a terrible amount. The foundation that was grabbing onto that dry patch is still there, but it hasn't gotten worse, so that's good. Uh, but I feel like a lot of this like texture around my nose might also be due to the sunscreen I'm wearing underneath because my sunscreen does kind of do that to foundations. So I would say this is, you guys, I just cannot get over how good my cheeks look. Okay. Uh, yeah, would definitely recommend this, you know, at $1.88. If you have to get two different ones to mix to your right color, it's still a pretty good deal. My only thing is like if you are if the purpose of you getting this foundation is to wear it as like medium to full coverage, you're using a lot of the foundation and you know, you buying two would be almost $4. Would that be a good enough value compared to like your Maybelline's where you can spend like $10 and get like a nice full coverage foundation? That is totally up to you. I'm personally excited to like mix a drop of this in with my moisturizer in the morning like kind of on the daily for work just to give myself a little bit of coverage nothing too much this is super lightweight even with like how much i put on super lightweight which i absolutely love so i would definitely recommend this you know you see it clinging onto my dry patch so i would say maybe if you have super dry skin moisturize and put primer on all that stuff beforehand otherwise yeah i'm very impressed so i will link everything down below uh, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. And as always, you know, feel free to let me know what you guys want to see next. And I hope to see you next time. Bye!